Let's hit that five minute mark. Let's fucking go. Pretty, 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 pretty. Hello. It's Thursday. You know what that means. <laughs> Hi, everybody. All right. We look at y'all. Y'all are so organized. Cinnabar was first. Dahlia second. Vaskin third. Perfection. One, two, three. All nice and neat. Like little duckies in a row. Look at you. What kind of duck? If you were a duck, what color would you want to be? <laughs> Justina has this little idle duck game. Like a screensaver kind of game that she could keep up. And, oh, well, it makes sense that you would choose red. You know what? I should have thought about that. And it just, like, spawns in little ducks in, like, a pool. Um, just after a certain amount of time and it's really cute and sometimes whenever I'm like if we screen share and she goes and does something uh she'll set it up for me so while I'm doing something well when I had free time <laughs> so when I was doing something and waiting for her to come back I would have this per my personal little duck screensaver <laughs> and it had like different pattern ducks and then there were stone ducks that would just fall straight to the bottom of the of the pool. Those were kind of sad. And then there's an alien duck that a UFO would come by and drop a duck into the pool. And it, it's just random. It's so random, but it's really cute. <laughs> R.I.P. stone ducks. Yeah, they just sink. <laughs> they just bloop. And then the yellow duck, like the plain Jane um, rubber ducky one. It has babies at some point. At Like, after a certain amount of time has passed by, it poops out, like, three babies. And it's so cute because they're little babies. Little babies. And little, just baby animals are the best. Personally, I think baby animals are, like, the best thing on Earth. There is... Well, no, well let me take that back. I was going to say there is no such thing as a a gross baby animal, but there are some unfortunate little unfortunate creatures that just aren't the most, uh, attractive. <laughs> they just, they're a little bit of a, um, you know, they just, mm, yeah. It's kittens going into cats. How do they do it? I know they start so cute. They're just, they're little babies that can barely walk in a straight line with, like, a little triangular tail. And their heads are so big. Ears on side of head. Eyes on top of head. My eyes are right in front of my face. Like a predator. Because it's prey animals. Oh. Ears, not eyes. <laughs> well, my eyes are in front of my face like a predator. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, wait, are my, is it, are my ears considered on the side of my head or on top of my head? Like, they're on the side, but they're also kind of above my head. They give me a little bit of, a little, a little weight, a little oomph on top. My ears are on top. Okay. <laughs> these are, these are things that I don't normally ask myself. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, you know what? We need to get Epic open. Is it Epic? No, wait. What have I been playing this game on? I think it's Epic. You would think I would know by now, but no. Okay, yeah, it is Epic. Epic! Says it's running. Oh, there it goes. All right, all right, we're here. Little bit of Phasmo. I can't, I want to play, I want to play some Phasmo, but I kind of want to, they need the ma new maps to pop out. You know what I'm saying? They got a, sent an example to you. Oh, let me take a gander. I hear a cat approaching. The cat approach. Oh, I see how they kind of, they just, it's like how uh, human skulls, for instance. You can hear the cat. <laughs> That's Angel Kitty. 
He's he's right outside the door. <laughs> but it's like how like how uh, human skulls when you're a baby your eyes and everything like that. It's so small. Uh, I'm sorry. Your skull is really small. Everything is really small. However, your eyes, they're already full grown. So your eyes actually don't grow in size. Does that make sense? Like as you age, your head will expand and everything will form around your eyes. But your eyes stay the same. So I wonder if like that's a similar situation. How the ears go from the side to the top. I don't fucking know. I'm just a cat. Like, I'm not sure how I'm made. I just know I was made this way. <laughs> Let me tell you something, brother. I don't know why I was created this way. Your skull grows to fit the eyes. Yeah. Our skulls grow to fit the eyes. <laughs> Some of us have bigger eyes than others, but believe it or not, they stayed that way since you were a baby. So when you were a baby, you had the biggest fucking eyes. <laughs> That's why they say kids have like eyes. Children have eyes of wonder because their eyes are so fucking huge. Fuck them kids. <laughs> Hello? Why isn't my game reacting? Hello? 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 Oh, there we go. Perfection. Let's fucking, let's fucking go, lads. I'm gonna wait a minute, then I shall do the thing. Oh yeah, you should save it. Yeah, you save it until the, the people arrive. Because when, <laughs> because once it gets started, they're very excited to continue. <laughs> you gotta wait for the people. I just wanna get started on the game. Cause I only have two hours, less than. Oh, last time. Oh yeah, so I guess it started us over a schmidgen. Can we skip this? Oh no, I won't do it. Who are you? What is this? Who are you? You me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? Not to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. She looks so real. It just blows hey. my see, he was holding a manuscript. Or did we, we, I think we picked it up last time. God, it's been a week. You know how much I forget in a week. Are you okay? Oh, no, it's my fault. They got out with my face, scratch. Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's, he's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before. Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name it's Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? And that's what happened last time on Dragon Ball Z. Now we're all caught up? We're all, we're all caught up, class? Okay. Okay. Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to do some exploring. Forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. He needs Mr. a shower. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Okay. Now we know... We know everything he says. Like How? Should look around. Am I still With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. We already know Alan's gonna the has some questions. Very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap. To Nightingale. 
Nightingale. Why can't I? I can't climb this? Why not? I should be able to climb that. Personally, I think that's a little... I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. He had a manuscript in his hand. Where the yeah. fuck did he go? Unless it was a rock. You have a flashlight? It's not safe without a light. I have a light and a gun. You can relax, wake. Listen, Casey. The poor man has seen some shit. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a deer. Oh, deer! Oh no! That could be some good elk stew. I don't think I've had elk. Actually, false. I have had elk. I've had elk jerky, but I haven't had like a steak of elk. Is I don't. I wonder if that's a. Th I'm sure that's a thing, but. You could make elk stew with deer, I assume so. If you just chop up the stuff and then toss it in a pot with water, would that not just technically be a stew? You know? I mean, I could be really hella wrong. I'm not a chef. Looking like a chef, I'm a five star Michelin. A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Ooh, what is... Fuck yeah! Ammo. Memory... Like they're tools of the trade. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. Memory on point! Remember, they look like us, but they aren't. They're like animals, and it's our job to hunt them and gut them. Elk and deer are two separate animals. I think you're looking for the word venison. Maybe. I mean, can you not make elk or deer stew? Is stew... Okay, hold on. I thought stew was literally when you just put chunks of meat into some stock or some water with seasonings and ingredients. Because you're stewing it, right? So a stew is something that you just stew? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Tell me, because the etymology just makes sense to me, but IDK, I'm not the smartest. Right, but what you had said, wait, what you had said was you were going to put deer into a pot and make elk stew. Oh, I understand. I understand. I like, well, you know what, Vaskin? It's alchemy. You put one creature in, you get another creature when it pops out. You got to do the cooking by the book. <laughs> you gotta do the cooking by the book If the way is hazy oh, I should put that on karaoke next time <gasps> And then that way I could do the little John part With such f f fervor and passion Oops Break it down, bitch Let me see you back it up Break it down, bitch Let me see you back it up Ah, uh, no, 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 yes, Cauldron Lake, there we go, okay, and then we found the Cult of the Tree, not remind, no reminding cultists victims are like animals, this is going to go cult psychology, what is over here, oh, we got a new song called Wadiki, Oh, wait, I wanted the map. Fuck, the ADHD is so much for me. We gotta go all the way around. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go camping together, guys. Everyone bring, it's like a, we're gonna, it's like a sleepover. Someone bring snacks, someone bring drinks. Oh wow, it's a little dark. The fuck? Someone will be in charge of making the fire, which, let's be honest, <laughs> I 
that be my job. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take some other jobs too. I won't just leave it all to you guys. Um, hold on a second. This, I would like to reload. Always best to reload before going into things. Okay. Perfecto. We gotta go through the threshold. Wait, but they're through the threshold. Are they gonna be okay? You can quick turn by quickly pressing L twice. Duh duh. Duh duh. Okay. We're learning. Why am I gonna need to do that? Um a little. We got a lot of lights on. You know what that means. Ooh! A pupperino! Yo, yo, yo! Wait! I didn't know I was gonna get attacked by fucking animals. Wait. All right. Come at me, bro. Come here. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof. 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 Even the animals are turning into monsters. You think it understood what I said? Can I gut it? Carve, carve, carve! I played monster and that's a big ass wolf! Well, wolves are big. Maybe it's a normal size wolf. It was munching on something. Had a nice little meal. Oh, can we go to the witch finder station? We can! It looks like there's a lot of cultist shit here. Ooh, we got secret stashes we get to collect again. I do love me some collectibles. What you got? What you got? What you got? Give me that. Give it to me. Saga burns away dark substances. Where? There's dark substances? Doko. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Well, lucky for them. A light bulb? Were your ears on the side of your head when you were a Hellcat baby? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> if, uh, if that's the way cats... I mean... Yeah? I mean, I have the same anatomy, so I would reckon so. <laughs> oh, I bet I was adorable. I wish I had pictures. I bet I was the cutest fucking thing. The cutest wee little tot. A little baby. I know I was a menace, that's for damn sure. Tore up a lot of shit. You should have seen me in my teenage years. Oh, could you imagine? A little, a teenage me. <laughs> a teenage me ninja turtle. <laughs> we got the key! Uh, this one. Yay! The cult is watching right meow. Right meow. Got to be careful. Where are they at? Where are they at, though? I'm ready. But they, like, they get all darkified. Darknessified. They give themselves a little bit of extra armor with that. Oh, I'm a little worried about the wildlife. Ooh, what's this way? 
What? No kitten pics? Crazy. The camera probably wasn't invented back then. Exactly. You forget. I'm, I'm quite old, so that's true. No paintings? Well, if there were, I don't know where they are now. And besides, like, why would anyone want to paint little old me, you know? I don't know which way to go. I just don't want to go the right way. Okay, going forward seems like a dead end, so... Perfect. That's what we want. Uh, what does it say? Today's catch. A yellow perch and a mid-sized pike. Almost caught a lake trout, but it gave me the slip. Saw an out-of-towner walking around in the woods just before sunrise. Had binoculars or a telescope or something. Taking notes. Didn't notice me. Good. Don't need the attention. Today's catch. Just an old rubber boot. Some of the regular creepies roaming around again. Avoided them as usual. No one notices a quiet old fisherman. Not even the fish. Lyles! Hello! Philly! Spooky time? We're playing some Alan Wake too. So yeah, we might get spooked a wee bit. Not that the game, uh, it's like, I guess this game would scare a couple, pe could scare a couple people. It's the jump scares, you know? You know how it'd be. And I get spooked, I spook myself. <laughs> Look how pretty that is, though. How is that? There's no horror in that. That's all beauty. Look at it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous cauldron lake. Streamside cauldron lake. What is, uh, witch's, witch's Ladle, and then Witch's, Witch, Witch Finders. There's something written here. Oh, what is this? A poem. A poem. Or a riddle. Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. All right, let's figure out. One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle, five birds for injury, six for misery, Seven for the ending, whatever it may be. Amen. <laughs> it sounded like a prayer. <laughs> Not me, though. Coilheads and Brackens got all the jump scare out of me. <sighs> I want to play some more. <laughs> I just I want free time again. One bird for light, two for darkness. Um. Also, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't realize how many uh, people were obsessed with the Bracken. There's just like so much, uh, so much art <laughs> of the Bracken. <laughs> we gotta finish our lethal run. I know! Uh, we had such good run. I don't know when any of that shit's ever gonna happen again. Nursery rhymes. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Whoa, oh, oh, Jesus. Whoa. Whoa, okay. We got four Bright Falls rhymes. What are these who made them? Cauldron Lake rhymes? Okay. Cauldron Lake rhymes. What do you mean? Hello? Is this... I found a strange rhyme on a sheet of paper with child drawings. Is that not this? Thanks, Saga. Yeah, Saga. Am I stupid? <sighs> I might be dumb. <laughs> I might be stupid. <laughs> the Bracken has that mysterious murder entity thing that a lot of people find appealing. True. He's like tall. Chiseled. He's got a chiseled head. Spike plates are the spookiest thing in that game, I swear. <laughs> when it smashes down like two centimeters in front of you. Yeah. We ran into that a couple of times. <laughs> They're loud, too. The loudness. It's what... get Loud noises are what scare me. <laughs> or when you go to a haunted house, the loud noises are what get me. And then, like, when there's those air cannons that... In your face, you know? I don't know why. It's like the suddenness of it that gets it. 
I'm confusion. This is a Cauldron Lake rhyme. Nah. All right, fuck it. <laughs> we're just, we're not gonna fucking know. Nightingale in the Dark Place. He's been on the trail of the rider forever. The rider he despised. Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. I'll get you. Hold on a second. Wait. Wait. Hold on. I've been waiting for a text to come in and it just happened. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was just like a random pause. Apologies. Okay. Um, I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. Justina! Hello, my love. I was talking to everybody earlier about your duck game. The screensaver duck game. <laughs> and everyone feel, or I feel like everyone probably feels bad for the stone ducks that just kind of sink to the bottom. Uh, you descend into the temples from the dark city into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence, rumbled. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The rider's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught and murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. He was there. But he was risen, sent to find the light switch. But I thought Alan had this, the light switch. Or maybe Alan... Did Alan give it to... To Nicole? Oh, man, I don't fucking remember. Wait. No, Nicole was from Dead Space. Y'all, I'm... I'm fucking... Everything's blurring. Placid... Plastic duck sim. Yes, that's the one! Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Let's back on out, because I don't know where that thing fucking goes. Doggo? Horse? Did y'all hear a horse? The fuck was that? You know, what? this is one of those dee 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 I don't know what that's called. <laughs> ah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> a little clothespin doll. A little clothespin. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. Why would you... No, see, if I had a child, I'm not, I'm not going to pick up something from a cultist ritual site <laughs> and say, let me just give that to my child. A telegraph. Thank you. I <laughs> Thanks, Philly. <laughs> I heard a radio, too. Is that this thing? Okay, what do I do here? One bird for light, two for darkness. What do I... Ah! One bird for light. Something feels different. I should look around. That, that bird just delivered us this. Charm. Cute. Oh, so great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Stop giving these these murder weapons to your children. That was strange. Got to keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Did y'all hear that? Oh, loud. No. Fuck out of here. He's running! Oh my god! Get out of the way! Oh, give me a second! Just like two seconds! Woo! We're okay. We're okay! <laughs> We're fine. It's fine. <laughs> Woo, Lord. I thought that I, I shot that dude's jaw off. I was about to say. Mmm. <laughs> delicious. 
It's just strawberry jam. It's fine. Okay. Um, reload. Put your big girl panties on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let me just... Second chat. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. BRB. Okay, okay, okay. I'm back. Sorry. Just had to check on that. Okay. Moving on. So we're going to start getting jumped consistently, I feel like. Hey, light. Mm, stream size stash? Shortcut? A heart? <laughs> okay, we're missing a key. Let's go this way. Exploring. We're exploring. Can I go this way? No, I'm not allowed to. Boo! <sighs> Witch finder station. Cauldron Lake. There's something over there. Oh, another riddle. Oh, hold on. Let's let's let me see this thing first. Another manuscript. Perfect. I'm scared if I go into my brain, I'm going to get attacked. An overlap of the dark place needed to push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location. And a counterpoint, a work of art, a horror narrative, crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side. To reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men, killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman, drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements, working in conjunction, made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex. And the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it where they overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Oh, there's a narration? An overlap of the dark place needed a Nah, bro, I already fucking did it. Manifest itself. I, I did we your job. Know. I did it for you. I'm a VTuber. 
I'm an unofficial voice actor. <laughs> Another one of those rhymes. Let's see. The hero brave and strong left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she'd lost the thing she loved the most. First, since no one claimed it. Actually, <laughs> I think Cinnabar was first today. And then Dahlia claimed it second. And then Vaskin claimed third. Silly Nero, you just didn't scroll high enough. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we need to find? <laughs> you can't... <laughs> We're just doing another first, second, third? <laughs> I guess. Go for it. Nobody said we couldn't have multiple first, second, thirds. Uh, did y'all hear that? Damn. You know what that taste is like? Tasted like sesame chicken! <laughs> oh, a moose! Cute! Y'all, moose are huge. If you've never seen one before, they be humongous. They got long legs. You're a handsome deer. You're a handsome deer. Do you not have it set to once per stream? I sure don't! I sure the fuck don't! Ro, Ro, how's it going? How you doing, boo? How you doing? You staying sexy over there? <laughs> you staying spry? <laughs> you stretching after working out? <laughs> Make sure you're drinking lots of water. I don't know why I'm talking like this. But bing bong, fuck your life. 721, tip of the day. When nature calls on a hike, check the direction of the wind before answering. <laughs> Someone had a stupid. Everyone's first. <laughs> just, just enjoy it. How are you doing, by the way, Roro? What's new? What's poppin'? Observations. Hikers have broken off branches of some of the trees down by the lake to make it an illegal fire. Try to fix some of the damage, douse the area, maybe put some more instructional signs. Hey! No I also... Aw, Vaskin. Uh, I'm existing, tired, nothing is new. I'm popping though. Hey! But you popping though. Tell him, Cinnabar. Tell him, Cinnabar. <laughs> okay. Hold on, I forgot to give you y'all's bathrooms. My pussy always be popping. That's what I'm saying. Like your lip gloss, boo. That's what I'm saying. Um. Okay, Cinnabar, you can have that. I hope you don't get a witch's kiss next time. Justina, you can have... Um. I hope you don't have any UTIs for a while. And then Vaskins can be... I hope that your next poop isn't sticky. No sticky poop. We don't need them cheeks to be sticky. Thanks. You're welcome. Appreciate I appreciate you. You have been blessed. Do I want to know what a witch's kiss is? Oh, you don't know? Oh, it might be known as something different uh, over there. What's brown and sticky? Poop? Mud? No, mud's not sticky. Uh, a witch's kiss is when, um, a stick. Oh my god, he is your child. <laughs> uh, it's when you poop, and when the turd splashes in the bowl, if the water pops back up and, and, and like, hits your butthole, it's called a witch's kiss. It's like the water just kind of, like, comes up and... <laughs> right on your anus. Try to relax your anus. <laughs> uh, I also found some tracks I didn't recognize. Pretty big, a wolverine, or footprints that were smeared. Either way, they were wandering around in a strange pattern. Might be a sick animal. We'll need to keep an eye out. <laughs> Poem of the day. The sun as she sleeps knows not the woes of men who toss and turn and worry and fret and wish they had her blissful slumber. Slumber. 
Observation! Picked up a bunch of trash left by tourists. Despite posted guidance, humans are the worst. 725! Thought of the day! Every majestic pine was once just a wee acorn. Aww. Poseidon's Kiss, better name. <laughs> I mean, I didn't make up the name. I just know that it's called that. It's like a... Is Poseidon's Kiss another name for it? Because I, I bet it could be, since it's a splash. But the whole point is something that you don't want. So, like, you don't want a witch to kiss your ass, you know? But, I mean, I guess you could if you have a preference. Witchy women are pretty hot. Observation. A lot of new growth in the area. Some of the saplings I planted earlier are really thriving. Must be all the rain. I don't mind. Great sleep. It's amazing what a good night's rest and a warm cup of tea can do. Take notes from the mystery man, guys. Get yourself some nice warm tea. Cuddle up. And sleep. Relax. Uh-oh. Oh, 2547. False. Uh, oh, shit. <gasps> Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont. Oh, wait, we need to, we need to start from the end. I received your favorable review of my project proposal. Thank you. I need not remind you that my academic as well as recreational expertise in mythology, folklore, and writing will indeed lend the needed credibility to the project in both leading it and creating the testing material. Dr. Eugene Campbell, PhD, lead researcher, Department of Parafictional Research. Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont. Here is the promised update on the project's first experimentations. The test items used were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls. The iconographic nature of the test items was hypothesized to be beneficial for the research purpose purposes. Test results were negative. I will continue testing with more advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is necessary. That was Dr. Eugene Campbell. Uh, PhD, lead researcher, the, the Department of Parafictional Research. Not sure what that has to do with anything. I'm afraid someone's going to come in this door. Stranger danger. You never know. Be safe. Wait, was this a thing? No, that was my reflection. Okay. If you're in here, come up with your hands up and your pants down. Oh, the FBC. Research into the reality-altering effects discovered in Cauldron Lake area, utilizing fiction and art as a source, and then manifesting the results into existence. Methodology. The FBC's intent in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes, here and after referred to as fiction in an attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing would become reality. The hypothesis is that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality, either by reflecting events that have come to pass, but that are not known to the, their later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for these past events after which they serve as the source of their own inspiration, or by the fiction itself being the initiating force in its present timeline, using the creator as a conduit. In the experiment, we will create nursery rhyme texts with a specific function, and then use the depicted dolls and symbols as needed via a careful testing process with the purpose of the story told in the fiction manifesting itself in real life. A variety of combinations involving the dolls, symbols, and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amounts of data with the hope that a pattern will appear. Methods will be adjusted in the testing based on our results. That pencil just moved. Can I come in here? Yay, a potty. Let me go pee. Let me piss. Fuck, I don't have a reflection. I'm a vampire. <laughs> Clover vampire confirmed. I wouldn't mind being a vampire. That'd be cool. What we got? Oh, look, here's three of them. Witchfinder Station, Streamside, Cauldron Lake re Rental Cabins. Oh, we gotta go back to the... Oh, wait, are we in the rental cabins right now? Where are we? Uh... Uh... Go piss, girl, go. <laughs> I don't have to actually pee. Oh! 
A wolf doll. Oh, it's so cute! We're gonna finish like a little little nursery rhyme. I, I, I like the way they try these experiments to see how this area worked. But I guess they are used to all of that stuff. Okay. What's the riddle again? Oh fuck, I did that I didn't mean to push that out like that. Alright. Let me see. The hero, brave and strong, left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy. The hero left home to right a wrong. Left home? This one? Wait! I, 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 I have a weird feeling. Something's changed. Uh-oh. Those are some wolfy footprints. Oh boy, we're gonna fight another wolf. Why is the wolf in the house? What is this? Ma'am, it don't look like a fucking wolf came by. Let's go into our brains for a little bit and think about this. A dark substance appeared when the rhyme was completed. Ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am? Oh my fucking god. Oh! We finally got one that worked! Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Whoa! That one goes really far. Okay. Um, a charm appeared at the site of the rhyme. This one? Okay. Are there any other dolls? Those are the easiest ones. Oh, they're so far. Oh my god. Go piss girl. <laughs> Clover's a piss girl. Bruh. I have a pretty strong bladder too. So like, how rude of y'all. I can hold my pee for a long time. Not that you should do that. Do as I say, not as I do. Do not hold your, your bladder. It's bad for you. Ish bad for you. Go piss girl, go piss girl, go. Go piss girl, go piss girl, go. <laughs> um, where does this go? Hello? Hello? Oh. Nope. What is this? Reenacting the rhyme made the environment change. Yeah, it's a fucking rhyme. Bruh. Bruh! Where do these things fucking go? <laughs> Not pissing for three days now. Gonna have kidney boulders. Jesus Christ. What does a... What would it... As a rock. What would a rock... A kidney stone's rock be? Would it just legit be a stone? I guess it would make sense. It would be like you're having a pebble. There's a pebble in your kidney. <sighs> you're right. I know I'm right. I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know where to put these things. We'll come back. Because we're about to get attacked by a giant okay, then. spooky wolf. In fact. Ooh. Ooh, Lord. Come out with your paws up and your pants. You're not wearing pants. And I can't say that shit. Oh! Oh. Oh, this is fine. Another charm for my bracelet. Charms have equipped them by placing them in charm slots. Okay, this is what I needed to do. Where's the charm slots? Weapon upgrade? No, 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 no. Charms. Charms? Television? Profiling? Radio? What's up? 
What is this? <gasps> Can I drink? Casey's favorite brand. Oh. Tastes terrible. Oh, this is the shotgun. We don't got enough. Yeah, we don't got enough. Dickite is a real rock? Are you serious? <laughs> what does it look like? Does it look like a dick? Where the fuck do I put my bracelet on? Hold on, I need to- I need to figure out- Dicks! Uh, <laughs> that spooked me. I'll send it to you. Cin uh, Cinnabar sending dick eye in, ch in my DMs. Cin <laughs> Cinnabar sending me his dick eye pics in DMs. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot this game actually lets me click off of it. Perf. Oh, you know what? That means I could give you some stars while I figure this out. I just need to... Don't worry, I'm not looking anything up. I'm just looking up how to, where to put charms. Oh! <gasps> that is not for your eyes, chat. How dare. Okay. Um, let me come over here. How to put charms on bracelet. Alan Wake. No, not for real. Oh my god. I just want to equip. How to find chart? No, I don't want to find. I just want to... How to equip. Simply open your inventory. Select the one you'd like to slot onto. Oh, it's your inventory. Arr, I see. There's also coming tonight. Coming tonight is not a fucking stone. There's no way... That's just you, someone saying, <laughs> what? Oh, that it, oh, okay. Dickite's kind of pretty. At least that second one that you sent. Coming tonight's not a pretty stone. That one looks like someone peed on a stone over and over and over. I don't like that. I don't like it. It was probably discovered by someone named Cummington. Pee. <laughs> Sir Cummington, what would you like to call your stone? Oh, here's the- okay. Increases maximum health, and now we have attacks stagger enemies more often. Fuck yeah, we like that. And then saves you from death, but shatters in the process. Ooh, these are like- um, wh What are those- eh? These are like one of those, um, uh, Vaskin, what's that game that you play? That, the, the, the one with the tower, the Slay the Spire. So there's a, there's a Slay the Spire game and they have like a uh, little, you can get little thingies. That's what these charms remind me of. I like how these wolf prints aren't glowing anymore. Are they disappearing? Oh, no, no, they're not. The relics. Yeah, the relics. That's the thing. Okay. Okay. So we solved this riddle. Um, let's continue exploring. We've reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. No, we're not done. No! Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been thinking more about the cold of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. There's a key that I need. I'm missing a key. Unless I have to come back for it later. Um... <clears throat> and we may have to come back to it later. I really want to just sit here, take a look out. Look that how, look how nice that is. So so nice. Um. Okay. Let's continue. Discovered in Cummington, Massachusetts. I wonder what that school's mascot is. <laughs> 
imagine it. They were called the Guzzlers. <laughs> the Cummington Guzzlers. Another Alex Casey lunchbox. <laughs> oh man, a dickite. <laughs> Obviously, you're going to succeed, or else you wouldn't be the hero. Duh! <laughs> we could put that up. Turn around. Case board. Cauldron Lake. Perfect. Y'all, I don't... But the one I don't fucking know is this. I have so many of these cards... But none of them keep trying. A charm appeared at the side of the rhyme. Okay. Dope. Mm. Hold on. But this is literally a cauldron rake. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now we're cooking with our noodle. Now we're cooking. Shinobi, how's it going? How are you? Happy Thursday. Look at you. It's almost the weekend and you're and here you are. Kicking ass. Floro. Hold on. Floro. -ro Wait. Floro ro Hold on. I need a I need my hand. Floor ro ro Richterite. That's a bad name. <laughs> Floro Richterite. I don't like it. I'm good. Yeah, how are you? I'm fantastic. Thanks for asking. I'm just tired. But you know what? It's okay. Because I will get to go to sleep eventually. <laughs> and I sure do look forward to sleep all day. The NPC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. Mm -hmm. And that always goes well. The FBC. Alright, where am I on the map actually? I should have done that before I left. Oh my fuck, I am so far up. Okay. Can we cross down here? I don't think so. We have to come back around here. Oh my god, we got a long ways to go. Because parking is all the way over here. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. It's fine. Oh, but there was flooding over here. By the murder site. Oh, that's okay. We're, we're, I'm all about the exploring in this. We're all about the exploration. Until we start getting attacked. Then that's not good. Look, a little birdhouse. How cute! It's a, like, a really nice house for a bird. If I was a bird, I would like to live there. But I am not a bird. Cat bird, woo! <laughs> this doesn't even make any sense, I'm sorry. Sometimes I just be random as fuck, you know how it goes. Finder. What is this? Uh, yeah, wildlife. <laughs> this is the thing. We don't have the key to this. That's uh, that's the upsetty spaghetti part. Yeah, okay. Now we go back. I think. I see them. You see them? I see someone. I see you! Shit, there's two of them. Yeah, bitch! Ow! I thought I could shoot you enough! He's still up! 
Reaching out. Yeah, yours, not mine. Anyway, so I hurt myself. <laughs> I'm such a bad aim. This is one. Okay, we already fixed that one. Now we go back, back. We go back, back. Um, those are my letters. <laughs> And my birthday stream on Tuesday it was amazing, chaotic, fun. Happy belated birthday! I also got my first affiliate deal yesterday. I've always wanted my own discount code for something. That's so exciting! I'm so happy for you, Shinobi! Ah! Congrats! A good mineral, mineral name is Appetite, as it is found in tooth enamel. That's cute. Zipatite? What is Zipatite? Zip it up. Zip it up tight. <laughs> okay, we have come back out. Okay, perfection. Perfect. Okay. Map. We get... We, yes, forward and then hop up. Left. Forward. And then hop up. Left. Want to go save at the witch's hut. Better not be any spooky people. I think it was I think it was the window, <laughs> but I still got scared. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Okay. Let me show you. The, uh, da, da. I do that too. The most random stuff comes out of my mouth when I'm live and then people respond and I'm like, what? You think I remember what I said two seconds ago? That's me. That's me all the time. What up, Deadshot? How's it going? Can you guess what my favorite mineral rock name? Cinnabar. I was about to say Cinnabar too. <laughs> How's it going, Deadshot? Happy Thursday. You're that much closer to the weekend, my dude. It's coming. The free time. Unless you work on the weekend, in which case I do so solemnly apologize. I am also about to be in that boat as well. It shocks, isn't it? All right. What is that? Did I? I did I? I'm pretty sure I went over there. I'm pretty sure I did that. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> I ate way too much Nutella today. My ass is burning. Oh no. <laughs> what, what an issue to have. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hop down. Hop down and then follow that trail. Hang a right. I want to check out these striped areas down here. I think striped is where things were underwater. Could be wrong, but probably shouldn't just be fucking wandering about in the woods. Putts and about. What? Oh! oh my fucking god! You can't do that! You can't you can't just be spooking me! Yeah, bet that hurts, don't it? Bet that hurts, don't it? Bet that hurts, huh? He's fast as fuck! Oh, where'd he go? Here, puppy. Here, boy. Why are you running? Come here. Why are you running? Come here, you bitch. Be a good boy. He's really close. He's behind this rock. Ah! Dog. 
I am so sorry. I really fucking love wolves too, but like you can't, you can't just be jumping out at me like that and not expect me to fucking fire back. I'm running out of ammo. This is not good. This is not good. I just want to touch the light. Let me touch the light. Heal me. It's not healing me. I thought that's what it's supposed to do. Okay. Map. If we come back down, hang left. No, I don't think so. I think we, I think, yeah, I think we've checked everything. We just got to leave. How do I leave? Oh, the shortcut path. Okay. Where's the site of the murder? This is the site of the murder. Perfect. Short cut. Short. No, wait. This isn't right. Where am I? This isn't the site of the murder. Thought I heard something. I'm starting to go crazy. I didn't think I was going to be fighting wildlife. This is the site of the murder. Perfect. Okay. The wolf would have popped up around here, huh? Oh, I thought I heard an extra footstep that wasn't mine. Wait. Oh, we've been in there. Okay. 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 Hello? I'm coming! What's going on? What is that? Ooh. The, the clapping scared me. What am I reading? Okay, hold on. Uh, it sounds like you need a bathroom blessing. <laughs> After shitting for two hours, I need holy water. Jesus, God himself, and heaven. <laughs> ah, how much fucking Nutella did you eat, my dude? That part we shall not speak about. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's... Uh, how much Nutella is too much Nutella? Yo! Get your shit together, Bureau! Ooh, okay. Uh, clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. I fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. Leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix this thing. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We want may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing so that the raccoons can't get to it anymore. Sure, I could fix Warning. it. Activity detected. A W E. An event in progress. Yeah. Like. What's an A W E? Casey, what exactly does the FBC do? <sighs> After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here and. Now we find our writer. How about that? A W E. What is it again? Area. No. A. I forgot what it was. Awesome. World. Entity. Altering world event. That's what it fucking was. The AWE is working! Aerial Wombat Entertainment. Oh my god, you know what? In my training for my job, <laughs> this reminds me of. Hey! Oh, this scared me. Uh, they brought up wall, uh, wombats for something, and like three people in class were like, What's a wombat? I said, what? You don't know what a wombat is? But then it, it occurred to me, not everyone knows a bunch of animals, but like, 
they didn't know what a wombat was. And then they pulled up pictures on the computer to show everybody. And I was like, everyone was like, oh, cute, cute, cute. And then two of those three people that didn't know what a wombat was, they were like, ew. And I was like, ew? What do you mean, ew? They're so cute. And they were like, yeah, no, I don't think so. And I'm just like, you didn't even know what this creature was. And I was like, did you know that they shit in bricks, like little cubes? And they're like, ew, what? And it was just so funny. But yeah, I didn't know people didn't know what wombats were. <laughs> But it makes sense. Two jars of Nutella was what it took to dethrone the king. All bat, wombat, combat. <laughs> Whoop. Isn't wombat a Pokemon? No, uh, wombats are a real animal. Am I stuck? Okay, there we go. Wombats are a real thing. They're not a Pokemon. I guess they're real life Pokemon. What up, Case? You ready to go? I mean, I guess I'm running out of ammo, so. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up the there, and then we'll talk properly. And my juice. Hey, Mom, before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and... What's up with my subtitles? A slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's, uh... Just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Want to say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Elderwood Palace Lodge. you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. Thirteen years. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you I, write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. What is he looking at? What are we looking at? Ati! Ati in the janitors! You see that poster with Ati on it? I remember. I remember. He 
he's remembering by looking at the goo. Chat, we're going in a wormhole. with no memory of how it got there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? Hold on, let me look around first. Can I open this? Alright, let me see it. Uh, okay, never mind. Let me explore first. I don't have a reflection. I'm a vampire. I felt a strange pull toward the TV. Okay. Oh, this is real. He's so confused. I would be too. This tunnel usually means oh, we fight Sephiroth. <laughs> it's so good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. Uh oh. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A, a, an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or... Maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> well played, man. <laughs> That's spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. Very meta indeed. You see, <laughs> Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but... It might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously, I found the, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. Reminded me of the Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. 
Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> this poor man. <laughs> no, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. Yeah, is this real? I don't think it's real. Yeah, no, it wasn't real. Okay. Are, are we Alan? Are we Alan? We're Alan! Yes! Let's fucking go! Give me my flashlight! Not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. There's lots of spookies. I shouldn't go out there. There's a lot of spookies. I wanna fuck around with the shit. Get me up there. Let me let me play a little beat. Bring the beat in. I don't know if I wanna be in the darkness. There isn't much of a choice. Oh no, 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 here we go. Is this What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. In between with Mr. Door. <laughs> He's like, why am I real? <laughs> I know, right? He does kind of look like Jake Gyllenhaal. I had that thought, but I didn't say anything. Oh. Oh, the Old Gods of Asgard. Old Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Yeah. Remember your old friends? Tor Noden? 665 Neighbor. Nave. Neighbor? <laughs> neighbor of the beast. Mr. Door. JK. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? No, I think Scratch set all this up. Oh my god, it's Casper, darling! <laughs> my interpretation of many worlds. <laughs> it's him! <laughs> How funny. Zane classic in theaters. Ooh, like Thomas Zane? Oh, wait, is there a number that I need to know? No? Okay. Okay. What am I looking for here? Hey! I think I've been locked in! Anybody? Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. <laughs> Great. Fuck! Fuck! Oh, it's probably 665. I'm so blind. Yep. That's what I thought. Uh, we won't go there just yet. I am exploring. What was that? A message? Where? Impossible to say. Ah oh, shit, whatever it was, I didn't I didn't see it. I didn't want to spoil myself. I thought that was where I had to go. He said the F word, I know. He's frustrated as hell. I would be too. Would you like some Limeu Lime Lemon also fresh? Got the thirsties? <laughs> I've got the thirsties. 
He said the fuck word. He did. Uh. Whoa! There's a fucking duck in my throat. Hello? There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Yeah, we don't want to be here. There's a lot of new spooky things in this game, Alan. Uh-oh. Push! Oh, nor did I got got. This is the ritual to reach you all. Waking up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. Is this my mind place? <gasps> Goals! This is my mind place! Holy shit! Okay... It's a big ass room. I have a lot of thoughts. I had been writing. Initiation. You must write to escape. Okay. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Part one. Read me. Beware Scratch. Alice. Waking up to a nightmare. The talk show I th Dex! had thought I was... Alan Wake 3 is just you typing out the whole story. Like, one, one of the typing speed tests. Oh my god. <laughs> what up, Dane? How you doing? Happy Thursday! I had to write more. I'm not done yet. At the talk show, I had thought I was home in New York, but none of it felt right. I was trapped in the dark place, a nightmare beyond our world. The writer's room was my safe haven. My writing affected what was outside. I was trying to write a story to escape the, the place. The story is called Initiation. With the story I wrote, I projected myself out to look for a way to escape. I had tried many times, failed. This place made me forget. Everything Dor had said had felt true. Was that part of my writing or coming from somewhere else? Okay. We must write. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Let's see if I can exit. No. Let me 
make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Okay. No. Hey, yo, what up? Mrs. Dana and I were in the other room, but I started Welcome it up on my computer. Oh, no worries. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Yeah. <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. Oh, he's so, an accent. Uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. Yeah, very controlled. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. That's great! Murder case, Casey! Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Damn, we're not doing too good. <laughs> I would hate this so much. gonna retrace steps because there might be something new never know fun fact the guy is the writer for the series the guy that guy is the writer for the series are you talking about the the talk show host or the guy who's playing or the guy who's playing Casey the blonde dude the guy playing Casey Casey, okay, cool. Interesting. To be fair, I would do that too. I'd put myself in cameos in my stuff. I know Shyamalan does it. I'll do it too. Six. Five, six, five. I see it. I ain't stupid. I see it. Mm hmm. Genius. Big brain. Okay, what's. Do I get a warning this time? Shit, I didn't pay attention last time. Limu, limu, limu. He's such a goober, but obviously these are just great games, so it's well warranted. Five six five, get low. I I thought that earlier when it was six six five. Hey, wait a second. But I wasn't allowed there last time, was I? Oh yeah, I went the wrong way. Three six five, Dan, you fine. Dan, I go one more time, get low. Get low, get low, get low, get low, get low, get a window at a wall. I wasn't expecting to be able to come in Hello? here. <gasps> ah! 
Ati! Ati? Let, let me explore before I run into the man. Ati would be here, because he's a little strange. Why am I so tall? I could literally look up, down over the door and see who's who's in there. Like, hey, yo, who's peeing? Who peeing like that? That's big. That's deep pee. <laughs> the janitor's office. Do I want to go that way? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Can I go out that way? I don't think I can. I think we're coming this way. Where am I? Oh, the janitor's room. Okay. We're gonna have to memorize this eventually, I feel like. Oh! Ah, no raid. There you are, Tom. Tom? Oh. Not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> <laughs> the worse the soup. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. <laughs> Tom Howard? <laughs> what do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's. A man, but a man with a two makes two, Tom. <laughs> and a man with a two can build his own exit. It's in a shoe box in the basement where you left it. <laughs> the Same clicker as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not Thanks, easy Ati. to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. This water is going bonkers. Sorry, Ati. Sorry, Ati. Sorry, Ati. Sorry. Get out of the way, Ati. <laughs> okay, we need a map. 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 To the basement. Yeah. All right. We're 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 chill. We're cool. This way. I thought the Lord's Purse is another euphemism for a butthole. Ati lost some weight, I feel. No, I think he's always been like that. I think his his outfit is just very oversized. Also, isn't the Lord's Purse... Oh, no, I'm thinking of a shark's purse. A shark purse. I was about to say, isn't the, the Lord's Purse like an egg sack? It is not. Oh, this is my room. We busting out, boys! Fucking busting out. Oh. It's spooky days. I would like a flashlight. I 
A shark egg sack is called a purse? I believe so. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's called a shark purse. A mermaid's purse. Yes. Okay, there we are. So it is a purse. It's a mermaid's purse. I'll inform my coworkers tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, I wish I had the today I learned sound the bring 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 bling. <laughs> I could probably find it and play it really quick, but we're getting close to the end of stream and I want to get as much in as possible, you know? Oops. What am I looking at? We want to go over there? That's all fine and dandy, but give me a second. I'm doing a heckin' explore. TV. Okay. Obviously, we gotta go that way. An old lamp and a shoebox. Oh, what is? Was this what the janitor had left for me? That's not the clicker. But it's a lamp with the angel on it. Hmm. Okay. It's fine. I'm just gonna scooch all these things to the side. The lamp felt significant. Fun fact, Fridays. Oh, okay. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. Bad news. Minecraft pistons now sound wet. I felt a Moist. magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Use the angel lamp to move lights and create a wave forward. Oh, that's cool. Hold on. I was looking at your thing. No more crunchy machinery. Oh, y'all talking Minecraft. I can't do that kind of shit. Okay. Whoa. When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward. The lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. I don't know if this is a good thing. Did we want to get rid of the light? Alan. I felt another surge from the lamp. Ah. I could use it again. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Mmm, that's cool. Mm. I'm gonna miss so much bullshit. I already I already feel it. I feel like being able to swap over to the other world, I'm going to miss something. Can we go in? We sure can. I wonder if I wanted to go through the other door or not. Oh. What happens if I put this here? Did I? Uh, wait, yeah, hold on. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Was that a Ouija board? Oh, no. <laughs> I thought it was a Ouija board. I needed to find another way out. Okay. Now we can go this way. And then we'll go back around. Do we want to be here? Is this a place we want to be? Oh, no, I need the light. Fuck. Okay, we gotta go back. Oh, 
You know what? Alan's stamina is way better now. He can at least jog now. Alright, give this to me. Grazie. Let's see if anything changed up here. Mm, I don't think so. Okay, cool. Hi, Senpai! How are you? Ah, I hope you're doing well. Um, wait a second. He's gonna meet Jesse, isn't he? I, I don't think so. I think it's an- I do believe it's an object of power. He got a lot of cardio in the Shadow Realm. <laughs> I get to see you, I'm already feeling better. You're so sweet. The dark place wants to drown me. Oh. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer, the map, the key, the compass. To form a door leading out? But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean. And a lake? That's not a lake. Mmm, and a lake that's not a lake. Mmm. We finished another episode. And that, and that, 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 find our way out of the talk show. Wow, it's bright in here. Can I save here? I can save! Yay! Perfect! All right! I wish I could play more, but I probably can't. Oh, I get sucked into it. Mm, but it looks like mm, one episode is about two hours, maybe, or so. Ah, my goodness. Ooh, that stretch felt really fucking good. Ah, you seem eepy. I'm exhausted. I have been so mentally drained going back into an office and learning and all stretch. that stuff. Stretch! You know... It's just, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that, bets. But it's okay. I'm doing fine. I'll be all right. I just need to remember to take care of my brain, take care of myself, and stay hydrated. That's all you can hope to do. Oh, and thank you for the stretch, too. Let me do another one. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. Uh. I'm so sorry. I'm going to brush my teeth. And then get to my jam jams. And then, oh, I need to take my the dog out one more time. You do be shrimping sometimes. I'm always shrimping. <laughs> I'm always shrimping. Just, I think in training is the only time I haven't been shrimping. Because I've been taking notes or sitting back. And these chairs, the chairs that we've been using, they're so like, they lean back so far it feels like you're going to fall off. It's really scary. But when you when you figure out <laughs> that how far back it goes, it's like a really nice rocking chair. So that's cool. <laughs> uh, I'll find the silver lining in anything. For the most part, I enjoy a good rocking chair. I don't rock much, but I do like when chairs have a little give because if they're really stiff, I don't know. I like to I like to sway like you know. Sway my chair like this. Now you need a bread pillow to sleep at the desk with. 
I want a bread pillow. There's a, oh my God, there was a girl that walked in because you're allowed to take blankets in if the office gets too cold. And she had a tortilla blanket. A tortilla blanket. It looked like a tortilla. Oh my God. I could send you a link. Oh, could you please? Because I would buy it when I get paid. <laughs> I like, I like cute pillows and cute animals, stuffed animals and stuff. You like it when your chairs are only semi-stiff? Yes. I don't like to stimulate my chair too much. <laughs> only semi. <laughs> All right. Anywho, um, I don't have any announcements because uh, it's going to be the same. Next stream is next Tuesday I uh, at 8 p.m. Slack. Oh, no, Slack. Did you just show up or were you lurking? Because I was, I know last time you said you always show up when we're ending. And I just feel bad. <laughs> You've been lurking? Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Woo! I was about to say. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Thanks so much for coming by, as always, you guys. Um, but yeah, I will just didn't say hi. No worries. It's okay. I, I love my lurkers. I love lurkers. Just, you know, sit back and enjoy the show. Use me as sound if you would like, even though I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure my screaming is like the worst background noise. But at any rate, everybody, I appreciate y'all as always. Uh, I miss streaming more often, but that's okay. At any rate, you know the huge, everybody. Have a good morning. Have a great day. Have a good night. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Brush your teeth before you go to bed. Okay. Take care of yourself. Drink water. And know that I uh, I got your back. If you ever need anyone to kill for you, I'll do it. Came home. Yep, that's it. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you.